What's your controversial food opinion? First two I read are broccoli is actually okay and I eat fries with the salt that came with them. How is this controversial? WHO heard you people? We put way too much pressure on cauliflower to be things that aren't cauliflower. Entire sleeve of crackers in my soup. Vanilla being used to describe bland or unexciting things is such a travesty. It has such a unique flavor the real thing, not a flavor extract and is the second most expensive spice after saffron. It's not an opinion unless it's from the opinion region of France. Otherwise it's just sparkling controversy. I prefer the term traditional over authentic, and even traditional is a very flexible term when it comes to food. I resent food. Don't like eating every day. I'd switch to photosynthesis if possible. Sandwiches overstacked with meat are usually very low quality and fuck up the bread meat vegetables ratio that makes a sandwich enjoyable. Reminder, sort by controversial. I always eat dessert first in case I'll be too full to eat it after a meal. Crab lobster. Lobster has always tasted like a shitty crab to me no matter how expensive, fresh or well prepared it is. Taco seasoning is just cumin salt with better marketing. The McRib should stop coming back. The shape of pasta influences the taste of sauce and that's just a fact. Thousand Island dressing is just fancy ketchup for salads. Stevia is awful. I don't care whether or not you like pineapple on pizza. It means literally nothing to me. Muffins are better than cupcakes. Girl Scout cookies are overrated. Payday is my favorite candy bar. Everything tastes better on a cracker, shushing face. Lobster is not that great, and definitely not worth the price or effort to eat it. I dip my fries in barbecue. That hard part of the lettuce can fuck off. Meatloaf is very good if it is homemade. Pistachio ice cream is good. Bacon doesn't go on everything. Somehow every time I've ever said it on Reddit I've gotten downvoted, but ketchup first of all isn't great but you like whatever condiment you like. But it doesn't fucking belong in mac and cheese, you goddamn heathens. Edit the editor Jesus Christ at 6am here. Edit 3.0 what have I done? Edit I didn't mean to start a war. I suppose what's done is done. So be it. Another edit apparently I offended Canada. Sorry lol. Best burger I ever had was topped with peanut butter, grilled onions, and jalapenos. After an expiry date has passed, I'll use my senses, smell sight touch to decide if I consume or not. Garlic powder is good, actually. Kids don't seem to like veggies because their parents can't cook. It's okay to add some flavor, dare I even say butter, to make veggies not taste horrible. Would you want to eat unseasoned steamed broccoli? Bacon doesn't go good with everything. You can eat kiwis like apples. No need to peel them first, just wash them. Potato chips with vanilla bean ice cream. Delicious. I like to eat fries without any condiments whatsoever. Except for the salt it comes with by default. Added I don't use gravy on rotisserie roast chicken, or dipping sauce on tenders either, if that helps. I like cottage cheese on its own. It's actually a fave. Broccoli is kinda good but I just get stereotyped massively in America. Too much cheese in a dish is a thing. Cold pizza is not better than warm fresh pizza. Raisins do not belong in rice pudding. I will cut off relationships if you think that's okay. Pineapple and jalapenos on pizza. I love cheese I'll eat cheese cold, baked or fried. My opinion is that in most cases, if you add more cheese than the total of any other ingredient in the dish you've wasted perfectly good cheese. Nutella is overrated. Not bad. But overrated. People make it sound way better than it actually is. Broccoli is actually so good. I don't like chocolate ice cream. I like my chocolate and ice cream separately. Wines can have differences in qualities and flavor profiles, but 90 is just snobbish posturing and wine a jargon. No. I don't taste the notes of maple, mace and nutmeg in the Chardonnay, I taste Chardonnay. Eat what you like. It's okay to dislike organ meat. Yes, if you like it, you'll come off as hip and cosmopolitan. But you shouldn't be thought of as boring or less of a foodie for disliking it. Truffle is overrated. Iceberg lettuce is a very sad vegetable. Chicken breast is pretty good emo, it doesn't taste like cardboard like some people say it does. 
Beans are acceptable in Chile. Canned corn beef hash is heaven sent. Canned tuna smells exactly like canned cat food. Most off-brand things taste exactly the same as the original. Especially with stuff like cheese and cereal. Bacon on everything sucks. While I agree that the amount of garlic most recipes call for is ridiculously low and can easily be doubled in most cases. Dot there is such a thing as too much garlic. There. I said it. Downvote me all you want. Chocolate potato chips. Is the perfect marriage. People that are obsessed with rare being the only correct way to eat steak need to get over it and stop trying to gatekeep others. Also, there is nothing wrong with breaking spaghetti noodles. I like an apricot jam and cheese sharp cheddar sandwich. I think that breakfast is the most overrated meal of the day. I know that many people enjoy a big breakfast to start their day, but to me, it's just not that appealing. I prefer to have a smaller breakfast, or even to skip it all together and have a larger lunch or dinner instead. I find that this allows me to have more control over my food choices and helps me to avoid feeling overly full or bloated in the morning. Plus, it allows me more flexibility in my schedule and helps me to save time and money. Manufactured carbs and sugar-infused food are literally killing us, and making us dumb. Pumpkin spice flavoring is severely overrated. I like NY pizza better than Neapolitan. Willing to change my mind after I go to Naples though. If your dish needs a whole block of cream cheese, you cannot cook. I love Brussels sprouts. It's stir-fired to have crispy brown edges. Some bacon or speck bits, finish off with drizzles of maple syrup or honey. Taco Bell doesn't cause stomach issues. MSG tastes great and isn't bad for you. A sandwich made in the morning and eaten for lunch several hours later does not need to be refrigerated best bon me I ever had sat on the back of a forklift for a couple hours before I was able to eat it and the pate pork veggies had warmed deliciously in the sun. Sriracha on pizza is better than Frank's Red Hot. Oreos are awful. The cookie is dry and charcoal-like, the middle is oily nastiness, like Crisco with granulated sugar. Yuck, no thank you. A lot of traditional food is vegan. Don't waste my life telling me that your partner friend you could never go vegan because you vegan food. Think pasta, salads, bread, noodles, stir-fry, curries etc. I'm not vegan but most of the stuff I eat is because it's cheap filling and tastes good learn to use spices if you think otherwise. Ketchup is very overrated. It is way too sweet and overpowers anything it is on. But what about french fries? Mayonnaise or vinegar? Cupcakes suck and they should stop being made. Canned and frozen veggies have a bad rep but aren't necessarily worse than fresh produce. My favorite part of this thread is the people who have negative votes for agreeing with a controversial food opinion, as if this isn't a thread where one would expect to find controversial food opinions, smiley face, smiley face. Ramen noodles are the inferior noodle when compared to udon. Everyone deserves access to healthy and delicious foods regardless of income or social status. Frosted sugar cookies suck ass. Burgers belong on burger buns not brioche buns and you should not have to deconstruct them in order to fit them into your damn mouth. I don't care if a good steak doesn't need steak sauce. I like the taste of it, I'm going to eat it.